Here we're going to be looking at refinancing short-term debt and how we'd classify this short-term debt after we'd refinance the short-term debt with long-term debt after the balance sheet date. First for our refinancing criteria here. Now to exclude short-term debt from the current liabilities here, both of the following must be met here. Number one, you must intend to refinance the debt on a long-term basis so that it will not require the use of working capital. And we're going to be looking at that situation here where we're using working capital here to retire some of the short-term debt. And then uh, number two here, you must demonstrate an ability here to refinance the debt. That is, you have to be able to uh, have the uh, financial um, credit here to refinance your debt here. So first off, let's look at our what we're going to be looking at here. Now short-term debt paid off after the balance sheet date and later replaced by long-term debt. How should the short-term debt be reported? That's what we're going to be looking at here as short-term debt or long-term debt here on our balance sheet date here. So let's look at uh, what our timeline here and what we have in this example here. We're going to have uh, some short-term commercial paper here, uh, current liability here of $10 million. And that's going to be sitting on our balance sheet at the cutoff date here of 1231-20X1. So we have this uh, current liability here of $10 million. And we intend to refinance this uh, $10 million current liability here, but we're going to refinance it here after this, um, after our cutoff date here on our balance sheet. So what we're, what we're going to do here is, uh, first off, before we come up with our financing here, we're going to liquidate some of this commercial paper. That is, we're going to pay it off here. And we determine that we have extra cash on hand, and we got $3 million worth of cash here at the end of the year here on 1231-20X1. And on 1-15-20X2 here, after our balance sheet date here. Uh, we're going to take $3 million worth of the cash that we had here and we're going to liquidate or we're going to pay off $3 million worth of the $10 million here of uh, current liability here of commercial paper and again with cash here. Now on 220 uh, 20x2 here, or February 20th, we're going to issue some long-term debt. We're going to issue $18 million worth of long-term debt. And what we intend to do with at least $10 million of that uh, long-term debt here is we're going to replenish $3 million of our working capital or this cash that we uh, used up here uh, when we liquidated $3 million worth of this commercial paper. We're going to use uh, Three million that uh, dollars of this long-term debt here to replace our cat or um, replace our working capital or our cash here. So we're going to be used three million there. But seven million of this uh, uh, long-term debt here, we're going to earmark it here for paying off this uh, commercial paper or this current liability here on March 15th, 20x2. So we're going to on March 15th when this commercial paper comes due here, we're going to use seven million of the 18 million here in long-term debt to pay it off here. Now. What we're going to be looking at here is we're going to be issuing this balance sheet, a balance sheet here of 1231-20x1 here, the balance sheet here uh, for that year here. We're going to be we're not going to be issuing it here until 228. 20x2 here or the end of February here. So what we're going to be looking at is how do we report this $10 million current liability that we have here on our balance sheet here in 20x1. How would we report that here when we issue this balance sheet here in two, uh, two uh, March or excuse me February 28th 20x2. Again remember the balance sheet that we're issuing is going to be for the year here uh, uh, 20, year 20x1. And what we've done in, in between our uh, balance sheet date here and the issuing of our balance sheet, we've done two things here. We paid off some of the uh, liability or uh, $3 million worth of our $10 a million dollar current liability here with some cash that we had on hand and then we also issued or uh, issued some long-term debt here and part of that long-term debt is to pay back our cash account here that we used up of $3 million and also pay off this uh, commercial or this current liability that's coming due here in 31520x2. So we're going to pay this off here after we've, the key here is we're going to pay it off after we issue our long-term debt here. And the other key is we're going to 
pay off some of this uh, current liability here before we issue this long-term debt. So let's first look at how we'd account for this three million dollars worth of commercial paper that's liquidated here or paid off and that was liquidated here in 115 uh, year 20x2 here and it remains a current liability on the balance sheet here of 1231 20x1 so even when when we issue this here on 228 it still remains as a current liability here on the balance sheet that we're issuing here and Again, it would not appear on any of the balance sheets. For example, if we had uh, monthly balance sheets here, it wouldn't re appear on any um, uh, other balance sheets after that date here, uh, after the end of on 1231 20x1. It wouldn't appear on any balance sheet, either 131 or 228, if we had a balance sheet at the end of each of the next months here for the next year. Now, the reason it's a current liability here, now short-term debt repaid after the balance sheet date here, and later long-term debt is issued, whose proceeds are used to replenish. This is the key here, the replenish our current assets before the balance sheet is issued the short-term debt should be included in current liability. So uh, what we've done here is we've replenished this, our cash account here uh, on, let's say, 220 here when we issued our long-term debt here. But it should still, this $3 million should still remain as a current liability here when we issue our balance sheet here. Even though we're going to pay, we're going to borrow, or we're going to use $10 million here to pay off this uh, this uh, current liability here of ten million dollars, we're going to issue this long-term debt, and it's going to be paid off uh, for at least seven million is going to go for uh, paying off the commercial paper, and then the other three million goes off to pay off this uh, liquidate or pay off the uh, uh, replenish our cash account. So when we're replenishing our cash account here. And it, this cash account was used to pay off some uh, current liability here. Um, you still have to keep your that portion of the cash that was paid off in the current liability. It still remains as a current liability here on the balance sheet here. In this case, a 1231-20x1. So now let's look at the uh, situation here where we've got this $7 million that was paid off here um, on 315-20x2 with the issuance here or with this uh, what we received here on our long-term debt issuance here offering here on prior here on 220 or February 2020 X2 here so on 315 we're gonna pay off this commercial paper here this current liability from the debt uh, what we received here in this issuing this long-term debt here in 20, uh, February 20 X2 here okay so let's go and look at that here now the seven million dollars in current commercial paper liquidated or paid off here on 315 would be refinanced by long uh, this long-term debt offering here on 220 would be excluded from current liabilities on our balance sheet here of 1231-20x1. So we, it wouldn't be uh, included in current liabilities and it would be reclassified here as long-term debt. Only, and that's because we secured the long-term debt here on 220 prior to paying it off here on 315 here of the fall, and in this year, year 20x2. And again, it was only for the $7 million worth of commercial paper that was liquidated here. It didn't include, we uh, got rid of, it was only for that portion here, and it wouldn't, what doesn't, this long-term current liabilities here, uh, that we'd be reporting on our balance sheet here of 1231-20x1 here. That, again, it was excluded here uh, from the current liabilities here, but it would be reclassified as long-term debt here. All right, and then remember that first $3 million would not be excluded from current liabilities. It would remain here as current liabilities. It's only the $7 million worth that of commercial paper that's liquidated or paid off. Okay, now let's look at the case here, and let's look at this cash account here, and let's look at an exception here. Now at 228.20x2 here. Now let's just say that is going to be our, when our balance sheet is issued here. 228.20x2. Now when the balance sheet is issued again here, this seven million dollars of cash would be excluded from our current assets. We'd have to have that deducted from our current assets here, the seven million dollars worth of uh, cash that we had here from, uh, from this debt that was offered here. Or this is the case here. If it's included in current assets, the seven million dollars, it would be classified 
as a current liability here. We reclassified it here as a long-term liability here by paying it off with those that um, debt that we issued here. But if we didn't reduce our cash account by that amount here, it would have to be uh, classified here as a current liability, which is the exception here to reclassifying this short-term debt here from long-term debt. So essentially, the point is here, we have a cash account here of seven million, let's just say seven million dollars, and we would have to reduce our cash account here by that amount here if we're going to reclassify this seven million dollars worth of short-term debt here into long-term uh, live debt or long time liability. Now, if it's not excluded, this $7 million, then the $7 million worth would still remain here as a current liability here when we issue our balance sheet here, uh, issue our balance sheet here on 228 20x2 here uh, for the balance sheet date here of 1231 20x1. So you can understand that point here. If we don't reduce our cash account by that amount here uh, that we reduced our uh, current our current liability when we paid off that seven million dollars worth of uh, current uh, liability here, then we would not exclude the seven million here as a current liability when we issue our balance sheet. All right, so that takes care of that.